you'll be able to give your eyes the care they need to become stronger. The exercises don't need a lot of time and can be easily done throughout the day without interrupting your daily activities. Between each exercise, we encourage you to use palming or slow bullying to relieve your eyes from any stress or strain. Before we begin with the exercises, I'll go over how to perform these exercises. First, let's start with palming. Close your eyes and place your left hand over your left eye and your right hand over your right eye. You may lay your right fingers on top of your left fingers over your forehead. Rest the heel of your palms on your cheekbones and your elbows on a table. You may want to put a pillow under your elbows for comfort. Rest your eyes and relax, slowly breathing in and out for 30 seconds. Don't press on your eyes, eyelids, or eyebrows and try to relax your, all of your eye muscles for the full 30 seconds. Now let's go over slow blink. Start by breathing deeply and slowly. Once you feel comfortable and relaxed, do a few normal blinks when you inhale for the first time. As you exhale, close your eyes lightly. Exhale slowly, allowing your eyes time to rest. When you inhale from now on, keep your eyes open. Close your eyes only on exhaling, creating a slow blink. When you inhale, try to completely fill your lungs. And when you exhale, you want to slowly push all the air out of your lungs. Repeat this exercise until you feel free of all stress and strain on your body and eyes. Now that your eyes and body feel calm and relaxed, let's continue on to the quantum vision eye exercises. Remember, you can always refer back to this video for reference on how to do palming and slow blink. Welcome to the quantum vision exercises. Before we begin, remember to remove your glasses or contact lenses. Also, after each exercise, it's important to give your eyes a break. You can use palming or slow blink to relieve any strain before continuing on to the next exercise. Please refer to the introduction portion of this video on how to perform palming and slow blink. Let's get started. The first exercise we will be doing is pumping. This exercise will increase the flow of nutrients while exercising the focusing mechanisms of the eye. For this exercise, you will need a pen or a pencil to act as your near object. Hold the near object six inches away from your face. Make sure that the object is six inches away and no farther. Use a ruler to measure the distances if needed. Change your focus every two seconds between the near object, in this case the pen, and a far object at least 15 feet away, such as a tree, billboard, traffic light, etc. Keep changing your focus back and forth between the near object and the far object. Make sure to focus on a new far object each time. For example, pen, tree, pen, billboard, pen, truck, pen, traffic light. Try to focus on a specific detail on both the near and far object before switching. Continue doing this exercise for 30 seconds, then take a break and practice again. This exercise can easily be done during TV commercials or office breaks. Remember, best results come from practicing every day. Before we move on to the next exercise, give your eyes a break. Pause this video and do palming or slow blink for one minute, then come back to the video and continue with exercise two, tromboning. The next exercise we will be doing is tromboning. Like pumping, this exercise will increase the flow of nutrients while exercising the focusing mechanisms of the eye. For this exercise, you will need a pen or pencil. Hold the object, in this case a pen, at arm's length away from your face. Breathing slowly and deeply, look at the object as you move the object close towards your nose and then stretch your arm back out. As you inhale, slowly bring the object in towards your face until it touches your nose. Make sure to focus on the object. As you exhale, slowly take the object out to arm's length. For example, inhale, in towards nose, exhale, away from nose. Make sure to time the movements with your breathing. It's important to have slow, deep breaths so you aren't moving the objects too fast. When you bring the object close to your nose, you may notice the object going out of focus or forming a double image. Try to keep the object from going out of focus. Once you notice it happening, slow down the object and let your eye focus on a small detail. Continue the exercise for one to two minutes, keeping the object in full focus the whole time. Before we move on to the next exercise, give your eyes a break. 
pause this video and do palming or slow blink for one minute, then come back to the video and continue with exercise three, clock rotations. The next exercise we will be doing is clock rotations. This exercise will stimulate the flow of nutrients and help control the extraocular muscles around the eye. For this exercise, you'll need a pen or pencil. Hold the object, in this case a pen, comfortably at arm's length away from your face. Now imagine that the object is in the center of a clock. 12 o'clock would be directly above it, and 3 o'clock would be directly to the right of the object. Keeping your shoulders and neck still, focus on the object, and extend your arm all the way up to 12 o'clock. Keep looking at the object for 2 to 3 seconds, then return to the center and repeat this movement 5 times. Then move on to 1 o'clock. Focusing on the object, extend your arm all the way to 1 o'clock. Keep looking at the object for 2 to 3 seconds, then return to the center and repeat 5 more times. Then move on to 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and so on. Make sure to stretch the extraocular muscles as far as it will go in each clock position before moving on to the next position. It's important to keep the extraocular muscles fully stretched for the full 2 to 3 seconds. If you notice a specific clock position that feels strained, repeat this specific position for another five times. Eventually, it'll become less strained. Take your time and slowly move around the clock. Don't rush this exercise. If you see flashes of light, it means you are stretching the extraocular muscles too hard and are stressing the retina. Continue doing this exercise until you have gone completely around the clock without any strain. Before we move on to the next exercise, give your eyes a break. Pause this video and do palming and slow blink for one minute each, then come back to the video and continue with exercise four, eye rolls. The next exercise we'll be doing is eye rolls. Like clock rotations, this exercise will stimulate the flow of nutrients and help control the extraocular muscles around the eye. Slowly roll your eyes in a complete circle, first clockwise, then counterclockwise. Try to keep the extraocular muscles fully stretched throughout the entire rotation. Don't look at anything in particular and make sure your eyes are moving at a slow pace. We're working on coordination and control without any jerkiness. If you feel any strain or stress in a certain location, slow down and continue with the eye rolls until it becomes smoother. Don't rush this exercise. Take your time and slowly move around the clock. Again, if you see flashes of light, it means you're stretching the extraocular muscles too hard and are stressing the retina. If you are easily motion sick, you may find yourself feeling unwell. Stop, cover your eyes with your hands, and continue the exercise with your eyes open. Continue doing this exercise for one to two minutes, or until you can go around both ways, clockwise and counterclockwise, without any strain. Before we move on to the next exercise, give your eyes a break. Pause this video and do palming and slow blink for one minute each, then come back to the video and continue with exercise five, squeeze blink. The next exercise we will be doing is squeeze blink. This exercise is used to stimulate the production of tear fluid in the eye. Squeeze your eyelids closed tightly for three seconds. Open your eyes wide and do a few normal blinks. Squeeze your eyelids shut again for three seconds, then open your eyes. Then again, squeeze your eyelids shut for three seconds, then open your eyes. After a couple of squeeze blinks, your eyes will start to create an excess of tear fluid. Try to isolate your eye muscles when you squeeze blink and not scrunch or wrinkle your forehead or eyebrows. Continue doing this exercise for 30 seconds or until your eyes feel moist and relaxed. Since this exercise is considered a strain relieving exercise, there's no need to pause this video. Continue on with exercise six, blur zoning. The next exercise we'll be doing is blur zoning. This exercise will improve the eye's ability to see small details. For this exercise, if you are farsighted, you will need a near object, such as a vase or flowers or piece of jewelry. If you are nearsighted, you may use a tree or house in the distance. First, find your blur zone in your vision, the spot where you can no longer see an image clear and crisp. Once you have found your blur zone, focus your eyes around the edge of the object, following the major outlines. Your object can be a tree in the distance if you are nearsighted, or a piece of jewelry held up close if you are farsighted. 
I will be using a piece of jewelry to help me demonstrate. Go slowly around the object three times. Then go around the object again, but this time really study small details of the object and try to see the exact shape. Do this a couple more times around the object. Then go around the object again three times, this time really focusing on the smallest details on the object. If you're nearsighted and are looking at a tree, try to visualize a leaf while looking at a cluster of leaves. If you're farsighted, study a scratch or metal imperfection on a piece of jewelry. While focusing around the edges of the object, follow the turns and cutouts the outline of the object makes. Try not to squint to see any of the details. Just stay calm and relaxed and try to visualize smaller and smaller details on the object. Once you are finished the third time around, looking at the smallest details, rest your eyes. Then continue from the beginning again, looking at the outline of the object, all the way around three times, then at the small details, three times around, then at the smallest details, three times around. Before we move on to the next exercise, give your eyes a break. Pause this video and do palming and slow blink for one minute each. Then come back to the video and continue with exercise seven, shifting. The next exercise we'll be doing is shifting. Shifting is your eye's natural way of viewing objects. Like blur zoning, this exercise will improve the eye's ability to see small details. For this exercise, you will need to turn to the shifting exercise in your quantum vision manual. We'll be using the house image with green dots for this exercise. Using this image as a guideline, focus your eyes on one dot. Now shift or move your focus from that one dot to the next closest dot. Continue doing this until every dot has been shifted to. Then start shifting from one random dot to another random dot on the image from one corner to the other corner, the middle to the edge, etc. Now use this method and focus on a real-life object, like a house across the street or a bookcase. Don't imagine dots, but focus on specific areas of the object. First, start by shifting from one spot to a closer spot on the object, then shift from a random spot to another random spot. Do this three times on three different objects. Once you're finished, make sure to rest your eyes. Before we move on to the next exercise, give your eyes a break. Pause this video and do palming and slow blink for one minute each. Then come back to the video and continue with exercise eight, acupressure. The next exercise we will be doing is acupressure. This exercise is used to relax your eye muscles and reduce visual stress or strain. This exercise consists of three different pressure points that will help relieve your eyes from any stress or strain. Refer to the ac acupressure exercise in your quantum vision manual for images on how to locate the pressure points described in this video. Use this exercise daily and after any long eye activity, such as computer work, reading a book, or watching TV for a long period of time. Pressure point one, upper eye socket. Close your eyes, place your thumbs on the inside of your eye socket, close to your nose, just below your eyebrow. The specific place usually feels like a bony ridge or nub. Once you have found the acupressure location, press firmly with your thumbs for one second, and then release for one second and repeat. For example, press, release, press, release, press, release, etc. Continue this for 30 seconds. Pressure point two, bottom eye socket. Close your eyes and place your index and middle fingertips on the bottom eye socket bone, right underneath the center of your eye. Press firmly with your two fingers for one second, then release for one second and repeat. Example, press, release, press, release, press, release, etc. Continue this for 30 seconds. Pressure point three, pinching the bridge of the nose. Close your eyes and place your thumb and pointer finger on either side of the bridge of your nose. Squeeze your finger and thumb together for one second, then release for one second and repeat. Example, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, etc. Continue this for 30 seconds. Now combine all 
the above pressure point exercises together to give your eyes a thorough massage. Start with pressure point 1 for 30 seconds, then pressure point 2 for 30 seconds, then pressure point 3 for 30 seconds, and then using your index and middle finger, gently tab in a circle around your entire eye socket. Start from pressure point 1 position and work your way out and around the eye. Do this three times and then repeat, starting again at pressure point 1 for 30 seconds. For example, point 1, 30 seconds. Point two, 30 seconds. Point three, 30 seconds. Tab around the eye three times. Continue this cycle five times. Since this exercise is considered a strain relieving exercise, there's no need to pause this video. Continue on with exercise nine, hydrotherapy. Exercise nine, hydrotherapy. The final exercise we will be doing is hydrotherapy. Like acupressure, this exercise is used to relax your eye muscles and reduce visual stress or strain. For this exercise, you will need three washcloths or face cloths and two bowls of water. Fill one bowl of water with cold water and fill the other bowl with hot water. Make sure the hot water is hot, but not scalding hot. The cold water should be ice cold. You could use water from the fridge or place ice in a bowl, stir it around for a couple of minutes, removing the ice once the water is cold enough. Now dip a washcloth in the hot water, close your eyes and hold the hot water washcloth against your eyes for 30 seconds. Take the hot washcloth off and place it aside. Now dip another washcloth in the cold water, close your eyes and hold the cold water washcloth against your eyes for another 30 seconds. Continue switching between hot and cold washcloths every 30 seconds. For example, hot washcloth, 30 seconds. Cold washcloth, 30 seconds. Hot washcloth, 30 seconds. Cold washcloth, 30 seconds, etc. Make sure to rest your eye muscles and don't push too hard on your eyelids. Continue this exercise for three to five minutes. Once you're finished, gently massage your closed eyes with the dry washcloth. How are your eyes feeling? They should be feeling strengthened and refreshed. Hydrotherapy is a great way to end each day as it helps remove any strain or stress from your eyes and encourages tear fluid production. You'll notice in the Quantum Vision Manual that for each eye condition exercise routine, we encourage you to end with hydrotherapy. Continue with your daily eye exercises and soon you'll begin to see with amazing sight. Refer to these videos for help on any of the Quantum